I'll try to get next to you. You can't get next to me. Unless you put I your just want to be next to you. Yes, yes, we do. No, because you do that, then I'm sitting for I right. just want to have... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't even get comfortable on this crazy cat. Do you yeah. see me sweating like crazy? I, this is terrible. This is how we've been living for the last seven days, y'all, on seven the days, couch. Seven days, on the couch. On the couch. So we're going Sometimes to the gym in a little bit to try to work on that. That body, real quick. I'm well, that, I've already named friend. it. I've named it. It's called dating contented fat. <laughs> yeah, boy. I'm what dating you. contented yeah, fat? Mm -hmm. of, that's a big one, though. Now, nah, crush, I am not a big one. You're a big one. Though you're I am going to get all my friends because y'all didn't say anything. Y'all like Judy, you still look so cute. Big girl, one. you still look so hot. I was yeah, like, girl, I'm round. Trying to instigate and round. Trying, trying to make you feel good. You I know, but they good. needed to say, Judy, you are round. You're big <laughs> now, but you look good. Now. Okay, you're I need a fan because it's hot over Ooh, here. Oh, well, you need to sweat. <laughs> I'm not sweating. You need to sweat. But anyway, uh -huh. you see people logging on, and I was like, what Chuck talking about? And you know what, Judy? And now you're going to drag about. Judy in here. <laughs> yeah, and um, we just want to talk about. Uh, Changing um, negative thoughts, negative thoughts, negative talk into basically being positive. positive. Or taking a new look at negative situations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, a lot so of times... Where did you get your point from? I have no point. You know, I come on here and talk about a bunch <laughs> of nothing. Not, I had yeah. a point. I had, I had something that I thought was important. Because we have been going through this negative situation with our housing for mm -hmm. a long time. And it started over a month ago where I had to move out of a house that I'd been in for seven years. And we, I, my son and I were in a hotel. Mm. See what I'm saying? Sure. So I knew you weren't going to be comfortable mm. like that. Mm. So, um, oh, don't put it low. It only makes me look fatter. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> anyway, um, and then we ran out of being in the hotel. I thought we were moving into a place of what happened to the place. Uh, I haven't been wait, wanting to wait, talk wait, about wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. you talking about the place in, in HV? Yes. Yeah, it was roaches. Uh, oh, my uh, gosh. Roach infestation. Infestation. Horrible. Roaches. Roaches everywhere. <gasps> uh, roaches everywhere. Yeah, it was roaches everywhere. It was um, roaches everywhere. What happened was Judy... Uh, and, and we don't want to look down at the people. The people were beautiful people. They just, you know, some people just want to invest in something and not do research. They should see opportunity, uh, side chicks of Charlotte, opportunity. Well, and uh, talk about they, don't, <laughs> and they don't, <laughs> and they, they, you know, just invest because they see an opportunity, not thinking about, the ins and outs yeah, of, you take. know, what's it going to take for people to move in and stay at that house. So mm. um, they went in there, They people kept moving in there. The people prior to us moving in, mm. uh, were very, they had, like, from what we heard, 10 kids and three adults, adults in there. And one of the adults was sleeping in the car every day. Now, me and Judy, you know, I was excited because I'm from the Valley and I was coming back uh, to the I was Valley. Excited. I was excited. Judy was excited because she heard about that re eventification or whatever. Re re well, re I was excited for a couple of things. It was a whole house, it wasn't attached to anything. It was three bedrooms, which gave us enough space. And so I was kind of excited about that. And it was reasonable rent, which is getting very hard to find in Charlotte. Anybody else knew well, about I bet that? Situation. It was. I bet so, it was. It should have um, been. It was, it was, <laughs> yeah, it should have been lower. Um, but yeah, we don't, we don't want to put the people down because I think yeah, that they good have people. good hearts, yeah. but you know, I, I literally said to them, you know, you, sh you should have had a handle on this over a month ago. So basically the family moved out. Um, they have a rule to where, uh, like if you get any complaints, uh, uh, you know, if you don't, um, follow their rules and regulations, they will easily remove you. So. Uh -huh. They basically removed the couple, and the couple left everything behind, everything. the furniture, everything, everything and just behind. left, and left with a bunch of roaches. And that's probably um, why they left everything. Yeah, they left it. They was it, like, it, the, you know, they, 
I guess they was trying to get back at the people. You going to kick me out? We got something for you. We got something, for, something you. for you. We got something got for you. So many legs. And yeah. They got and they crawl over your food. Yeah. And they'll be in your... So, you know, <laughs> um, um, I'm going to get Judy to explain the story. But, uh, but um, you know, they, they left all of that behind, trash and everything. And, uh, you know, Judy went in there one day and she was just... Wiping the countertops and, <laughs> trying, to and the trying to clean. She was just happy. I said, now be careful now. You might find a couple of roaches and bugs. Oh, I had roaches at 75000 and we cleaned them bugs up. No, I never said thing, any such thing. Uh, I said, uh, pine not, bugs. We, we, we had pine bugs where I, I lived and, and we got rid of them or got them under control. And But I'm not a, I'm not a person familiar with roaches at all. At all. New York City. At all. Queens. Well, he doesn't hear me, my almost Long Island a- accent. I lived in the suburbs. My dad, we weren't having the roaches thing. So it wasn't everything was the hood in New York City, New York, um, Queens, very suburban. But anyway, I'm not accustomed to roaches. However, one or two, you know, I could do. This was not one or two. This was literally 20 or 30 a day. A day for a week. The only day we missed going over there was Wednesday, right? And that was the only day that I didn't look at crawly things, 20 or 30 crawly things. And so literally, you know, it began to be a negative situation. Let's just be real. It was a negative situation. We were supposed to be in there since last Thursday. We're not in there. We're on couches. We're trying to, you know, adapt to another routine, other people's routines. And um, so it could be, it became a very negative situation. Yeah, and, um, you know, the people were nice, but, you know, when my wife gets upset, even though I wouldn't, you wouldn't find me dead up in there, no, to be honest wasn't. with you. He already told me yeah. I'm not sleeping there, I'm but, not showering there, I'm you not know, eating there. But, I'm like, so why you are know, we it there? it made me upset. I was just going to wait till they clean out everything, Jeez. and I was just being patient. But my wife wanted to do something different, but that's another subject. No, we can um, talk about but, how that turned into a positive. Because prior to us finding this place, I had applied for another space. And that space, unfortunately, had a very long curve yeah. of being approved. You had to go through three levels of approval and different things like that. And I had pretty much given up. That had become a negative situation because... The, when I got the first approval, I was like, yay, this shouldn't take too long. Five weeks, six weeks, seven weeks. It literally was lit- almost eight weeks. But we got the approval yesterday. And basically, I guess I was sort of like, well, God, why do we have to go through the whole roach situation? If this was going to come, and then why did this take so long? Because we had to go through so many changes. But, you know, what's my favorite, one of my favorite scriptures? All things work together for the good of those who love love the Lord and are called according to Mm -hmm. his purpose. Mm -hmm. And so we like all the positive things working together, but we don't always see the purpose of the negative things. And trust and believe there was some negative talk between us because he was like, you're not being patient. This is a question of your pride. I was like, pride? You run over there with the crawly creatures, okay? Mammy, pappy, grandpappy, babies, teenagers. Yeah, I mean, with you, every level but, of but roach you time. have ever seen, I could have done a look, nature show on roaches in that place. Yeah, but you got to look at it like this. We were invading this space. Ah! And sometimes you have to be friendly with people. It's just like, mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. like a, let's just say an old retired mm-hmm. white man moving into a black neighborhood and never been around black people in his life, you know, and he has to learn to adjust and adapt You're to what's going on in the neighborhood. You're not talking about adjusting and adapting to the roaches, are you? You're going to have to, what I'm saying is, eventually, you're going to have to go 
and introduce yourself. Mm-hmm. You just can't go in there and kill the roaches Listen, off. Listen, they and, were sitting and, on top of cabinets and introducing and themselves and kill the roaches to off. me. They were like, hey, they're a little, little antenna. And she was trying to kill me. And I'm like, oh, yeah, let me give you some ortho. Yeah. You know, you so, know and getting nervous and just panicking oh and everything. And well, I'm like, don't have to relax. Your they want to be your you friends. Think something fell on you. You're jumping out your skin. It was all of that. It was all of that for a week. Every day. And then, you know, I don't talk about my children very much on, on these things because they're grown. But it began to affect my son. And see, my son's not the type that you see these outbursts or things like that. But it began to affect him. He really began to be like, you know, I especially saw it that last day, which was yesterday. And he got there and within a half hour, he was just pacing and not doing anything. And I was like, what's going on? He says, I'm just thinking. And he wanted to say, I'm sick of these roaches. He wanted to say so bad. And he didn't. All he said was, I just don't know how much more of this I can take. And see, to me, that sounds like normal language to you and us. But for him to get to that point, that means internally he is stressed, he is suffering. And I said, you know what? I can't do this. I can't do this. So when we came home and saw that email, I could have fell out. But at the same time, it's a smaller place. It's not near where we wanted to be. It has its own perks, but it took away certain things. I'm going to have to give up more stuff because it's a lot smaller. Plus, I'm downsizing big time. Um, So the thing of it is, is that we were talking about, you know, these negative things happen. What were we supposed to get out of that, you know? I got a lot try- out of that. What did you get? Besides that you wanted me to introduce myself yeah, to Yeah, I wanted roaches. to introduce you to the roaches, <laughs> you know. But I got a lot out of that. Like I say all the time, it might not, that way might not have been for you. You might have been that person to help that company who felt that, you know, I'll just move into a poor neighborhood or I'll just move into a low-income neighborhood. That's in their thoughts now. Um, And just try to make money off of it. But we came in there and we was like, we're not the ordinary black folks that you see on TV. Well, maybe uh, we're not the stereotypical yeah, the, the black stereotypical people black folks is what I'm trying we'll to say. We'll take anything. We'll take anything you know, we will. and move on in. Right. And that's why God set it to where you saw what you saw before you moved the furniture in. Yeah. So, basically, he was aligning everything in the process. While he was pro- progressing, he was aligning Everything in the process just to show you about patience because you were working on them and with them in order to step up so the next family the next that would family, come in would, there yeah, would be secure. Will be secure will because be, they will, will be they will okay be different. With they will look at them very, very yeah, different. Yeah, they will look at them very different. And this is important to us. I mean, I got that because even when I had the conversation of, hey, we're not moving in here. I'm so sorry. This just is not something we can do. You know, I think we've made a connection, a networking connection. Because she's like, you know, hey, if it's not this, maybe let's be in touch. Let's be... You heard what they said. She said when she came to the house, the 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 manager loves you guys. Yeah, the, she did loves say that. Your he family. loves this family. And so we're not here making a positive difference in the way that we handled a negative situation. We could have what? We could have gone off, fussed, act a fool. Posted it all, all on Facebook. Facebook and, and everything. And got like that. millions of views like the Housewives of Charlotte or what? Side Chicks of Charlotte. Whatever. But, you know, but we yeah. didn't. We were more caring about, hey, you've got really, this building has great bones, but you're going to have to get to the root of this issue because it's, it's in deep. It's really in deep. So even the conversation we had this afternoon was, you know, let's keep in touch, Um, take your time moving out, we're going to refund you all your money. It was never a situation of animosity, anger, you know, tit for tat. It wasn't any of that. And they actually got to see us in our single saved and serious shirts, remember? Mm -hmm. That day we were wearing our single saved and serious shirts. The neighbors got to see that. So the point of the matter is, is that what started off to be a very negative situation, turned out to be a network connection, goodwill spread. If we ever go back to 
you know, Four Seasons property management. I mean, we're in like Flint. I'm sorry, because we did we did everything right well. We did everything well. And I'm going to tell you something else that came out of it as I sit here and it's right in the hot house. Um, yeah, yeah, you got to get all that burn off. Of your did, thank you. I'll burn it off on the trail. Yeah, but yeah, anyway, yeah. my son, who if anybody doesn't already know, has autism. Mm-hmm. And um, used to be very, very rigid in his routine, in the things that he had to do, you know, for his comfort level. And he said something to me in the car back from um, going to see about the new place. And he said, Mom, I think I've mastered how to change. And I sat there and I said, Son, you haven't just mastered it. You're better than me. You're better than me. Because throughout this thing, he did not lose his temper. He did not storm off. He would make a suggestion of maybe we should cut our losses. Remember he said that? Mom, but, maybe we should cut our losses. <laughs> He's very proper. Very I'm proper. You, very patient. And even the lady, she said, oh my goodness, that's manners, that's manners. He's so polite. And so, but to see a child who suffered with change, to just be using the skills that he had to help me through this process. I mean, I used him, I said, you know, you want to go through this and see if there's nothing in there? And I'm thinking this kid's going to be jumping out of his skin. And he's just painstakingly looking through. So I knew by the time he finished, it was clean. There's not going to be even a speck of a thing in there. And so he got to use his skills. And he said, Mom, I think I've mastered change. He actually got out the car today to see how to pump gas. He said, I never pumped it. Mm. it, But I think I can do it. And Drew, you better work it, boy. I mean, yeah. I was like, okay, so something that was negative, something that most people would want to avoid their child going through, especially on the spectrum. He went through it because I've kept those things. I have not hid negative things from him. I haven't. But to hear him say today, he says, Mom, I think I've mastered change. And I was like, oh my goodness, yes. There's some grown adults who can't handle change. Mm-hmm. Okay? There's some grown people who are like, what do you mean this is going to happen? So literally in, what, 60 days, this kid has lived in three to four different places? You know, three places, and about to go to another one. And when we went to the new place, can I tell you he went over that thing with a fine-tooth comb? Mom, there's a crack over there. Mom, that outlet isn't fixed. Mom, this is the... I mean, he knew how to inspect an apartment. From top to bottom. And when yeah. we left, he said, I think I can call this home. So, basically, from from that situation, from I, got a, I got a lot out of that. And it's called, um, not expectations, but uh, inspections, right? Inspections. So, the things that, because normally when you say move in, people rush to move into to move places. In. They mm-hmm. they just be like, okay, I got a new place and just rush. They get the movers or mm-hmm. call you and get you to move and they, they already in the place by tomorrow, right? They already setting it up. But what happened is Judy went to the place which was much smaller and had an eye, her and Andrew had an eye yes. for everything that they saw, every little crack any little issue that they feel Mm -hmm. that might have them to visualize that a roach (laughs) or a rat would come out of, they had to fix the problem right there. They they addressed the issue right right there. We did did talk to them immediately about what their history was for treating the situation. So, yes, out of the negative situation... We learn new skills. My son definitely learned new skills that you can't get in therapy. You only get in life. Mm. Yeah. Jesus! Oh, dear. Jesus! But, you know, the thing of it is, is that when you have faith, you know, we were talking about that. Faith is a, on prayer call this morning. Faith is the evidence of things hoped for. The sub, the sub, I always get that question. The substance of things hope for the evidence of faith things. Faith is something that you don't see, a person that you believe in, that you don't right. see. And you have to have that 
even in the midst of a negative situation, in order to look for the positive, in order to look for where God's hand is in the midst of this, in order to see, okay, I'm going through this, but how is this for my good? And I'll admit, you don't always get to see what's for your good right away like we did. This literally was a week, and in a week we got to see how this was for our good. But we have to realize that God loves us. And he's not allowing anything in your life that he, one, is not going to be there with you. Two, that he is shaping you and forming you. And sometimes it's not into what we want. Because trust and believe, Judy never wanted to become a roach expert. Okay? Not on your Well, you ain't mastered the roaches. Have you mastered the roaches? I don't want to Because I talked to my cousin today, and he said they all up in the sockets and all up in the walls. They were in the door frames. They were in the place where... The door jam, the little hole for the thing to be in the door jam. They were in, they were in, um, we have folding wood tables. If you've ever seen the little cute folding TV wood tables, and they were in between the crevices where the top part of the wood and the bottom part, there were two of them squashed up in there. And I'm like, this is crazy. I would have never thought you could even fit. And there were two of them up in there, and then we're busy spraying at them, and they're like, well, thank you for yeah, the rain. Thank the you, water. yeah, rain, yeah. Because, yeah. It's raining, y'all. We got water. We got water. But hey, how are you? Glad to see you Glad come in see. my house. You know, as the children run all over the floor. Oh, so, you in my I mean, house. <laughs> literally, I would never want to be that acquainted with roaches again. I don't. Yeah, but you, but you know, you hurt time, the roaches' feelings, though, Judy. I hurt the feelings. You ain't only hurt the management feelings, you hurt the roaches' feelings because they the was feelings. expecting to have some human company. They were expecting. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They, they was expecting they like, to be all in your too. food, you mm-hmm. know. They was expecting That's to wake okay. up to you in the morning. You know, when I was in the valley, we had rats. Yeah. So you can only imagine that. My dog used to kill them. Not only that, but they'll be yeah, running in the kitchen yeah. like, yeah, we're here, buddy. That's okay. You know, so, and I was That's a little boy. Okay. I was 10 or 11 years old. We had rats just That's running okay. around like they were home dogs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm playing up the ex mama. You don't believe me? I know. Ex mama. Running I around she's... like they were just regular That's pets. Okay. That's you know, okay. so. Hey! You know, oh, okay, I'm gonna need a shower. Yeah, oh my God. yeah. But you know, mm. with with this situation, it's just it's a blessing in disguise because you're able to help another family. You're able to yeah, help we, we, that business grow. That grow, yeah. Yeah, you're able to help them grow and learn and not to things. Take, you know, okay, you're an investor. And this happens, you know. Don't become a slum lord. Go in there and say, would I move my family into a place like this? Would I allow my family to live in these kind of conditions? Because literally, if all you're looking at is a balance sheet of money that you're going to make when you flip this house or when you finally get the rental in there, and you don't, you know, there's things that should be done. And so now they're going to have to give back. They, they learned this lesson. They're going to have to give back all of that money. First month's rent, prorated rent, deposit plus pet fee. They're going to give all of that back because of the situation that they could have taken care of. So, yeah, I think they're not going to treat the next people quite so lightly. They're not going to treat their next place quite so lightly. But yeah, meantime, and even if they do, the next people will go on this Facebook Live and say, Oh, we got evidence! <laughs> and put them on blast. Well, trust me, but no, they, they wouldn't. All on this phone, those pictures, video... Oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah, well, so, you, you know. know the, the point of the matter is, is that in a negative situation, you know, um, us having just started in marriage and not having a place, that was a challenge. You know, you get married, you're expecting not a couch, you know, that you're sleeping. No, that's not what you're expecting. You're expecting to come home with somebody naked, yeah. Oh. Hey, no, I'm anyway, just saying, I know naked, what you're you know, saying. You were just saying something, but I'm just, I just, I'm just saying that you don't expect to go through a month of being separate, one person here, one person there, then together on a couch in 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 you know someone else's <laughs> home. You, you're expecting a lot of things, and so there was a lot of expectations that you and I had that weren't getting there, and. And it got a little tight sometimes, you know. He'd be like, 
Gallo type because one of the things we encourage is communication and, and we stress that. So, you know, I was saying, I'm not feeling good. I'm tired. I don't want to go back to that place. Ah, and he was like, you just need to have patience, little one. I was like, look at here, yogi, whatever, um, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Th th this place is horrible. We're not going back up in there. You are showing your pride. Pride? I'd like to have some pride of ownership. I mean, so there, there were these little exchanges that was like, you know, both of us showing how we deal with stress and how we deal with things unmet. What is it? Unmet expectations? Expectations and in, 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 in inspections and also. Inspections. Yeah. And what I did was, though, that I did notice, I paid attention. I said, you know, thank you, God, because when I fell apart, this person stayed like a rock. He didn't change. You didn't, you didn't fly off the handle with me. You were like, Judy, you know, just be patient. Trust me. I'm your covering. I'm your protection. I'm going to make sure you at least have a roof over your head, which he did provide. Um... So that was wonderful. And he listened to me rant, ladies. Yes, he did. Oh, God, I would rant. You know, I would come home and be like, I can't take it. I can't take it. 20, 30 votes. And one, but we just went through things twice and again. And all my summer clothes are destroyed. All my summer clothes in the bin have now become the habitat. Okay. So. No summer clothes, y'all. No summer clothes. It's 80 degrees and Judy ain't got a sundress. Uh, uh, a little mini dress, you know, nothing. I have nothing. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not happy. But the point of the matter was is that he allowed me to say what I needed to say, but still direct me either back toward God or back toward patience. Let's see where this and, goes. And Let's see yeah. what we got to learn from this. How patient are you with God? You know... In the midst of a negative situation. And, yeah. and prophet is some bishop... Uh, you know, Bailey and and evangelist, uh, evangelist, <laughs> Runny Moore. Uh, <laughs> you know, we had a talk in it in about the book of Leviticus three twenty one. Thou shall be patient with God. You know what? Stop it. Stop. It. No, no, I'm serious. L look it up, y'all. Look it up. It Thou shall be patient with God. Stop Leviticus three twenty one. Anyway. Paul was talking to Simon. Okay. Huh? Okay, here we go. Really. Okay, Paul was talking Paul to was Simon. Paul was not in there when about, about that Paul <laughs> was in Leviticus. About when he Paul was, was talking to Simon. And Simon was like, hey, I see a bunch of roaches. I told you the story the other day. And Paul was like, stomp on them. Stomp on them. He said, no, I want to keep them as pets. Uh-huh. And he never understood why he wanted to keep the roaches as pets. So he put them in an aquarium, you know, fed them all types of breadcrumbs and everything like that. that. You know? Go ahead. And at the end of the story, hey, it came down to. Yeah. This is the 21st verse! <laughs> Because now, okay. now that's something wrong with your phone. Right oh, my phone but you done messed, messed up my up. story. So I'm go sorry. ahead. You, you put him in the aquarium. Go ahead. And what did he yeah, do? Yeah, he put him in the aquarium. <laughs> gave him bread. Gave him all types of stuff. <laughs> you know, like that. And you know, they had a little, Paul and Simon had a little conversation, and Paul said, "Well, why are we doing this?" <sighs> and they say sometimes you have to build friendships with unfriendly people. Hallelujah. Did that make any sense, y'all? No, not really. See, what I'm trying to say is Ouch. the roaches. We're not building friendships with the roaches. No, it's just like the roaches. Mm -hmm. When you invade their space, they feel threatened. My daddy used to tell me all the time, right? My daddy used to tell me the reasons dogs attack you and the reasons animals attack you, they attack you out of fear. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily that they're hungry or that they want to just fight you, they're attacking you out of fear. And that's because they don't understand you, and the only thing they look at to where they see you is that you're trying to kill them. And them roaches had an idea that when we come in there, we were trying to get rid of them, we were trying to kill them. But I was in there just saying, listen, 
there's a moral to this story. Go right to the next door beside us. Go to the next, <laughs> next neighbor beside that's us. A, that's a moral. That way, go, yeah, that go somewhere time. else and we can be neighbors. You know, you know now I talk to you while we're here, mm-hmm. but you have to know that we're being removed. We are about to remove you. I'm about to remove you. You see what I'm saying? You see what You're talking to the roaches. Yeah. That's okay. Now, I anyway, had to have a little conversation with you. Can we get back to the point? Okay, go ahead. The point is that in a negative situation, in negative circumstances, um, patience, patience, wait on God. Um, mm-hmm. You know, if you have to get him to prayer, Lord knows I was praying. I said, Lord, why? We prayed hard why, this morning. Why are you doing this to me? So, you know, and then, you know, you have your unmet expectations. You know, the whole point that we would be in the valley and we're not, you know. Um, we're going to be back on the east side. Um Anyway, you know I love the East Side. I my heart is for the East no, Side. Well, I know about the East Side, Milton Road. You yeah, know. We, we're gonna be back on the East Side. We're gonna still be in another community that needs support. Greer that Town. Needs Greer, Greer Heights, baby. Greer, Greer Heights. Town. Okay, okay. Greer Town. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I heard you. They ain't no anyway, Greer Heights. They ain't changing nothing on Yes, that. they did. Listen, the place we live in, what are they calling Mackie, it? Mackie, what up, boy? They're calling it. Um, Gritchen Square. Enough said. What up, boy? What Nuff did I tell you, Nikki? Gritchen. When they change the names, the places, Gritchen Square. It's got a whole pretty new sign and to, everything. But but look at what it's saying, Gretchen. They don't want to say Greertown Square. They're saying they Gretchen Square. They don't want to say Greertown. They don't want to say Greer Heights. They don't want to say nothing about Greer. Okay? <laughs> So, so they're trying to fix it up to where the where black folks won't get mad or offended. But the, ch- the children need that support. There's a wonderful um, organization, and then I get all that information for anybody who wants to know. There's some great organizations there um, that are helping the children that have an after-school program, um, that have a rec center that's just been built. What else is there? Habitat Humanity is right up the street. So there's a lot of good things that uh, we can get our hands into as far as volunteering, as far as giving back to the community. So even though it is in Hidden Valley, even, uh, but you know what I thought today? And I, I don't know, I won't, I don't always want to say everything is in the spirit, but I thought today, I said, maybe, maybe it's not the time we would go and see, but maybe we're still supposed to go into Hidden Valley, not just at this time, not just at this time. Maybe we'll go back and own something as opposed to just renting. Mm-hmm. You know, this gives us the chance to do some things, save some money, get the credit really right, and maybe we'll own something. Yeah, and kick Hidden everybody Valley. else out of there and bring the weight from them dog on roaches. Yes. But anyway, um, the point of the matter is, is stay focused on the goals. Even in the midst of negative circumstances, stay focused on God because he's going to be the only one. Cray didn't have the answer for why we were going through it. I sure didn't. Um, I had the answers now. I kept telling you the answers. God wanted you to be... It was all about patience. It was all about seeing things that you've never seen. It was all about that type of experience to where you can help somebody else that might be roach-affiliated right now. We got 20 people logged on right now, and some of them may have a problem with roaches right now, not knowing how to communicate with the roaches, we like get the hell out of my house, the but I'm just saying, roaches. so so basically, they're sitting in and they're listening right now saying, hey, this is a new idea I have, maybe I will approach it differently to where these roaches will get to understand me what, as well as I picture, get to understand picture. them. That's the bigger picture. That's, That's bigger a picture. broad picture. The broader picture does not include roaches. The broader picture includes any negative yeah, situation. That, exactly. You turn into a positive. You, you, you stay make out close a positive. to God. You yeah. stay focused. Mm-hmm. And you look for what God wants you to learn out of that. So the positive is get connected with roaches. That's the positive. Find a way to get connected with the roaches. What am I going to do on. with you? But You're anyway, not... Go ahead. you know, just try to make things positive um, out of your out of your uh, experiences Experience. that you go through. It may be a job. It may, that you, it may be for someone else. It, it may it, be yeah. to assist other people. And I didn't think I'd end up assisting a property management company or these investors. But they needed to realize that they had a serious problem. People had been there and hadn't said anything. They were supposed to be cleaners. Remember, the guy was supposed to be cleaning. The other guy was supposed to be repairing. And uh, they had a security guard. Some cracking. security guard. 
in there, but well, I ain't I mean, never you know, seen them. If you ain't say nothing about them roaches, there's something wrong with you. Yeah, he ain't worked so, one bit on that house. Not a bit. Okay, one not bit a bit on that house. They had a security guard out there. We done oh, stepped in there. That? We came in there one night, 12 o'clock at night, and he had his bed and TV and every doggone thing up in there. I'm like, that dude ain't out there. He out and there he getting, either came with some roaches or went, went away with some. So, you know, I don't know what is. But my point was is that he did not help the situation. And so, you know, maybe God allowed us to go through this so that we could really help them. Because they had absolutely no clue. I said, listen, this is an infestation. And you're going to have to work on this. This ain't no throw some bait at it and spray a wall or two. You, you got some serious things going yeah, on. Yeah, you got to just break down, tear down that whole doggone house. That, well... The, or remove the cabinets, Especially the cabinets tear down the, in the house, kitchen. They might or have whatever. to do something. But we don't want to discourage you guys because I love for you guys to move in the house. <laughs> Especially the ones who've never came to a single saving series. Oh, you know what you're wrong. But, but uh, anyway, you know, again, we're gonna we're we're gonna tell you that it's a it's a greater it just needs work done to it. Now, while it's empty or whatever, there's plenty of time for the 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 business to come in and do renovate the whole house to where the next family that comes in wouldn't have to worry about that. Okay. Can we you also know? talk about the positive, positive, positive? That's what. Okay, go ahead. About, well, no, the, the new place. We we will be in the new place Wednesday. We get keys. Um, we gave the deposit today, and um, cables being turned on. Duke Energy already got a notification, so we are going to be in our new place as of Wednesday. And uh, in due time... Um, I mean, it's small, so don't expect that we'll... But I'm going to put it this way. I was going to say don't expect that we'll be able to do a lot there. No, we're still going to do everything we wanted to do. We're still going to do prayer breakfasts. We're still going to do little events there because the point of the matter is is that our home is what? A Your sanctuary. home. Yeah. Our home is about to be your home. You come anytime you want no to. No prayer. Come and, 3 o'clock in the morning. You know I got food. Yeah, just come in 3 o'clock in the morning and uh, <laughs> knock on the door okay, and really? just say, hey, I, we need to have Bible study. Because, you know, we, we do everything. We, we don't have a set time on anything. Especially so, at the house. We yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so it'll still be a place of worship, basically, a place of, of safety. Yeah. It'll be... Open to the public, and we will not have what? as many restrictions as we did. About? As far as the thing, it's going to be open to the public. You got missed the excitement, <laughs> baby. <laughs> you got missed the excitement, okay. baby. Okay. Open the church. The doors are open. Come on now, bro. We outside of the church, giving the church church service, bro. Mm -hmm. If Steve Furtick can do it, I can do it. Oh goodness, he's yelling and screaming. What I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting like does that. but yeah, but but the point like is, open house. We're gonna have entertainment. We're gonna have coffee. We're <laughs> gonna get through now. We're gonna no. have. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> no, but seriously, we'll have we're going we'll we'll to have, have, food, we'll have yeah, Bible study. We're going to have prayer, Bible study and, um, yeah, and prayer, prayer breakfasts, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll have music, high boom. I'll probably get um, Yolanda Adams or something like I that to, to come perform and yell and scream and holler and everything else. <laughs> but anyway, we're moving to Grill Heights in time. I'm, um, Judy is making the transition. Uh, you know, to to go to Greer Heights and, um, and you know, be in the communities. We're not, you know, I I lived in South Park for seven years and I loved it in a way. It was beautiful, but it was such a stagnating period of my life. I did not get to know people. I did not make a real difference in that community, even though they formed a community association and everything. I don't feel like. I made a difference just because I bought you a mobile coffee truck. I just felt like, you know, with the things that are going on in this this community and all of our communities across, I saw Beverly on here, um, that are going on, the last thing I want to worry about is did you get your cappuccino right? I want to do something uh, more meaningful. And we're going to be living in a community where more meaningful happens every day. And that's really important to me. It was not important to move to a gated community or, uh, you know, this rising, perfect community. I didn't want that. I would have done it. 
You know I, I was know you would have done it. it. You and half of my friends would have tore up Stone Haven over there in South Park. But what I wanted to do is what we're doing, which is we're moving into a community that needs to see positive um, people, positive families, have positive things happen, um, and and we're bringing God. We're going to bring God there too. So this is actually the positive thing that has come out of what people would have called a negative experience. Yeah. So when you're at work, right? Because this is uh, approaches. Uh, you know, you see, um, you see these TV shows about side chicks of Charlotte, uh, Housewives of Atlanta. We can no, no, no. You want to? No, you want to? No, they wretched, ain't they? No, that's okay. They wretched. No, they thugged out and wretched, right? <laughs> but see, I can't say too much because, like I said, I told you my I family is it. a part of that, so I ain't going to say too much. I love you, Marquise, but I know you. And I'm just going to hug you as much as possible when I see you. But anyway, um, yeah, please get to the point because we were supposed to go eat and do gym and all. I'm gonna eat all right. Okay, I'm gonna eat. I'm about to hit that finish button. I'm gonna eat. So but listen, <laughs> I'm gonna eat real good tonight. Well, anyway. You know, sometimes it's good to be on the couch because a lot of times you learn uh, how to lay. You know, you learn how to. Yeah, yeah, you learn how to cut it, you learn how to lay, you learn new positions, you know, you learn... Um, is this going to suddenly become no, the, the, R-rated? No, it's not R-rated. Okay, I'm trying to figure out It's not you're R-rated. Going. You we say, see, see this is the thing. To how you lay. No, because, think about it. If we were in the house with roaches, right? <laughs> right? And we were on the couch, right? And the next thing you know, a roach just crawls up your butt. Uh, you know, you you just going up there and you just start jumping in the middle. You know, that basically gives you some teaches you some type of balance mm-hmm. that you never had before. Mm-hmm. You've That's never okay. experienced some before. Some of these experiences you I get don't need the to experience ever again. Yeah, so, but I'm just saying you you learn new things okay. while laying on the couch okay. versus laying on the bed. Gotcha. Now visualize that roach crawling up your butt. I don't want to have that visual. And I'm about to hit this finish button. If you don't get to having a point, you're keeping the people and don't have a point. I do have a point. Okay, what is it? Sometimes. Oh, dear. Sometimes, y'all. Sometimes. You have to be positioned in order to be in position. Did that make any sense? That actually made sense. Oh, my God. Mind blown. That made sense? That made sense. What you got out of it? That's amazing. Sometimes you do that. I don't know how... All them synapses. You have to be positioned in order to get in, in position. position. Well, I hope we're, we're positioned in. to be on this couch. If we can't handle the couch, how the Ooh. world are we going to handle the bed? Huh? That makes First sense. of all, I, I'm going to say another thing. How if we that? can't appreciate the couch, we will never appreciate the bed. Amen. Okay. If you can't appreciate the couch... Come on now, y'all. Come on now. Come on now. You're not going to appreciate the bed. You're not going to appreciate the bed. Sounds like another show altogether. But anyway. Okay, well, we'll just cut this off and we'll put it on again because we ain't do bedroom talk in a while. We got to do bedroom talk. I'm nervous about you right now. Yeah, this bedroom talk. So what we're going to do, you're going to put on your robe, right? And I'm going to take off my shirt. And um, we're going to go ahead and... uh, you know, We're but not but do the that. point is appreciate what you have seriously. Yeah, yes. appreciate and, it. And even the negative things. Yeah, that you even think the that negative things serve no purpose. That they serve, may be putting you in the right. Yeah, position. it's putting you in the right position. So be patient with where you are. Amen. Be patient with God with where you are right now. In the and storm. I'm going to say something for the people who are dating and 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 you know looking for mates. Look for someone that can go through a negative situation with you. That is not going to and turn it into them. a you against me. It's not going to be a versus thing. It's going to be us versus the problem, not us versus, well, you want it and I want it and what you said and what you said. Try your best to find people who are going to say, look, it's us against this problem. Yeah. Let's pray and about it. And it's not necessarily let's, you know, yeah, let's fast, compromise. praying fast. It's not necessarily about... Who's going to pay the bill or stress about who's no, going to pay the bill? Yeah, who's gonna... It's about are you willing 
to go through what I'm about to go, go through. through. And are, are you, you flexible willing... enough mm. to that if, if things don't work out the way you want it to, are you not going to take it out on me? I didn't do it, which was one of my favorite lines. I didn't do it. Whatever the circumstances, let's not doubt who we are, what we have, and where we're going because of a, circumstance, a negative circumstance. And I'm hot and hungry. I want to go and do something else. So. Ooh, I got three for that. What's I got mean? three H's. Oh, Lord. Hot. I'm hungry. Hungry. And I'm going to make you crazy. I'm going to blind you. Oh, right okay. now. I'm going to blind you. Know you. Hot, hungry, and you. hot, horny. We love oh, you. I said horny. God, hot, Jesus. Hot, hungry, and horny. Can you finish the line? It we feels good you. just to talk but like that God when you want to talk like that. <laughs> God we love you, you, but God, God loves you more. Hot, hungry, hungry. Hot, 